Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's the day after the show now, and I am still exhausted. I think I passed out at like 8.30 last night, and didn't wake up till like eight o'clock, but um, it was tiring, I'm glad to be home. And uh, yeah, but I need to get my trailer unloaded because I have a couple tractors to pick up. Um, so I need to get my trailer unloaded, and then I got a few other things I gotta do. Um, before I can pick tractors up because I have some truck issues as well But before we get into today's video, I need to read a Bible verse of you guys And today's gonna be coming out of John chapter 20 verses 29 through 31 And it says Jesus said because you have seen me you have believed those who believe without seeing are blessed Jesus performed many other signs in his presence of Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are, are written so that you may believe Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and by believing you may have life in his name. So there's today's Bible verses for you guys. Um, and yeah, I made it to the show, and it was an excellent show. I'll definitely be setting back up there in 2025. Um, that rent tool show is every other year, so there won't be one next year, but there will be one a year after that. Um, and that show just made me want to get out and do some more uh, other shows. So I might be going to other shows. You'll just have to stay tuned to the channel um, to see if I'm going to be going to any other shows this year or not. But I'm at least going to try to hit a few next year probably. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to be traveling too far unless it's like a huge show like um, Rant tool, but um, or if they're featuring Alice, then I might travel a good ways, but um, yeah, so I'm back home now. Next day, I already shipped all of my parts that I sold on eBay when I was gone. Figured I need to get them shipped first, um, because that was uh, the one thing I needed to do just so my shipping wouldn't be overdue and this, that, and the other. But next up, now I need to get my trailer unloaded, and you guys might think. Right then. It looks just as full as when you took it. But if you guys seen my Rantoul video, um, the first two days of Rantoul were amazing. I sold so much stuff that I came back home on Friday night and loaded up a lot more junk. So, came back home. That's why there's still a lot of junk on my trailer because I came back home, loaded back up with more stuff, and then went back for Saturday. And I sold a lot on Saturday too. Um, but not as much as I was hoping for. But the show was definitely well worth my time, well worth me coming back and grabbing more parts. And uh, yeah, so the only stuff that is still on here that I took is the big stuff for the most part. The duels and the zipper, um, tractor and gator. The lawnmower is no more. It, uh, it's gone. Um, and I might throw a picture of the little boy in the video here that got it. Um, so I'm not going to tell you, I'm just going to say I didn't take a dime for that mower. So the people that think I'm greedy, thank all you want. You got to start high and work your way down. Um, and yeah, I had a ton of money in that lawnmower. So, um, yeah, you guys just don't know what you're talking about. Most of my viewers here are really, really nice people as I found out at the show. But uh, yeah, this tractor is getting knocked in the head. There, I had too much interest in it, um, but no one gave me 2,800 cash for it. So um, I'm not gonna waste my, or I'm not gonna have people waste any more of my time. So I'm just gonna, right when it gets off this trailer here, I'm knocking it in the head and I'm just gonna sell it piece by piece. But um, the driver 8,000 series door sold, which I'm glad because I probably would have broke it on the way home. And then all of my 6,000 series panels sold, which is great. Um, I didn't expect all them to go, but they, they sold. So that's sweet because they were pretty high dollar panels. Um, and then I kept some weights and stuff. I did reload with 6,000 series fenders. I sold a couple sets of them and then I reloaded with some other sheet metal and stuff. But I sold tons of stuff and I'm super blessed. Um, to have been able to make it out to that show and just meet you guys and have a good time. Um, the Gator, I really didn't advertise it, which is probably why it's still here. Um, I 
advertised it for a few hours. And then I was like, I kind of just want to drive this thing around. And uh, so I took my sign down and just drove it around. So if anyone is interested in the skater, I want to get rid of it. Um, I want $10,000 out of it, cash money. Um, if you bring me a check, then I'm have to give you, I charge you sales tax, Indiana sales tax, just because I'm a business and uh, I'm not gonna run away from the government and get screwed on my end. So if you bring me cash, no sales tax, but if you bring me a check and want a bill of sale, then you're gonna be charged sales tax. Hate to do that, but I'm a business. I gotta do what I gotta do. So, um, and if it don't sell, then I'm just gonna throw a rear windshield in it and I guess keep it around here. It is handy, but my skid steer does everything I need it to. So, um, enough of me talking now. Uh, I'm gonna get to start unloading my trailer. The stuff that's on eBay, I'm just gonna take it back to the barn and put it back in there. And then there's tons of stuff that isn't on eBay that I took out there. And I sold a bunch of it, but I still have a bunch left. So I'm gonna lay that here on the asphalt and I get pictures of it and get listed on eBay before I throw it back in the barn. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is set you guys on a tripod and get to unchaining and strapping, get my gator off the rear and a few other things. And then, um, yeah, get my trailer cleaned. Got some stuff through on the gator here. Since it's still here, might as well use it. So all that stuff just needs to go back on the shelf. Um, and I got pretty much everything all from underneath the tractor here so I can get it off of the trailer. Um, then over here, started laying stuff out to get listed on eBay. Uh, so yeah, if you see anything here that you're interested in, it'll be on eBay here shortly. Um, this set of tires is 11 24s brand new never been installed um so yeah i guess what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take my gator out there and unload all them hood panels get them all put away and now i'm gonna come back up here with the gator again and throw these fenders and a few other things in it that are already listed um get this tractor pulled off front end and duels off and then uh keep laying the rest of the parts out right here that need to be listed and should have this trailer unloaded pretty quick. So I guess I'll pick you guys back up when I get to unloading some more stuff. most stuff off my trailer as you guys can tell and what's not on ebay laid over there and then the rest of the stuff already hauled out there um but i'm not gonna start writing down and tagging that stuff till the sun dies down so i got a couple hours to work and i think i'm gonna just start tearing down this thing so um, what i'm gonna do now is set you guys on a tripod try to get all the sheet metal off of here and get this thing tore down pretty quick Quite a bit done on time-lapse mode and then i had to set you guys down because i had a trucker here and i had to load some pallets um so then i've been working off camera here for a minute and i got the lights off of the fenders because i got a guy interested in them and then i came back here got the three-point kit off of the rear end and i want to take a snap coupler latches off and pull the pto shaft out and then back here will be done and then I did get the valve assembly out. I'm gonna tear it down, wash it up, and it'll be good to go. Um, and then yeah, on this side of the motor, all that good stuff, the starter's out, and the motor's ready to be pulled. Uh, but before I pull the motor, I need to drain the oils, hydraulic oil, rear end oil, and engine oil out of here, and then I'll be ready to pull. 
and get all the four wheels and tires off here. So what I guess I'm gonna do now is pull all the oil and um, come back here and get these snap coupler latches off and move this three point here. Um, and then I will put you guys back on the time-lapse mode and get the motor and wheels and tires off there. Yesterday, I was gonna pick you guys up on time-lapse mode and uh, take the wheels and tires off and split this thing. But today, I decided, I think, that I'm just gonna leave it together because if I split it, then the block and the front end will probably go to the scrap anyways. So why not just leave it bolted together and throw it on auction um, as a chassis? Um, I'm still gonna rob the rear tires off and probably put a different set of front tires on. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do because I really don't care to tear the motor the rest of the way down because I'm just gonna look at the parts. And the clutch, I'm, I really don't think I'm gonna pull it. Um, it was a working clutch, but I just, I just don't think I wanna look at it on the shelf because I already have tons of flywheels. Um, so I think I'm just gonna leave that clutch in there. But here's the motor. It's funny to just look back and think of all the people that told me this thing was not a runner. But now you can tell um, that it's in really good shape. So to all the people that told me it wasn't a runner, I've seen the thing run. Um, and I know it was a runner. So there you go. It was a good motor. And uh, I knocked it in the head because you guys didn't buy it so 2800 was way too doggone cheap anyways so sorry mr chances but uh yeah i gotta i gotta make my money back somehow and uh so and at 2800 dollars, i was taking a big loss so i'm gonna make i'm gonna break even at least now but probably make some too so um yeah so I guess what I need to do now is I need to put that frame rail back on there. And then, really about the only thing I want left is the rear tires. I might rob that steering cylinder out of under there. But uh, after I get the rear tires off, pull a snap coupler latches out, and maybe the lift cylinders. And then I think this thing's just gonna head on to auction. I'm just going to put front wheels and tires on it so it's easier to I can lift the back end and push it around somewhere. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I guess I'll set you guys back on the tripod mode. I'm going to clean up a little bit so I can get the skid loader back here. And then get them rear wheels and tires off there. Just like that, the 190 is pretty much tore down to where I want it to be. Um, so I think the rest of it I'm just gonna put on auction time is what I'm thinking. Uh, I probably will cover the motor up just so it don't get all rusty um, because once I put it on auction time, it'll be about two weeks before it sells. So I'll probably throw like a board or a tarp over it just so the motor don't, don't get rusty because it is a pretty good motor. Just needs parts put back on it. So. Um, got the rear wheels and tires off and all the wedges, snap coupler latches off and laying over there. And I'll probably go ahead and uh, rip these lift cylinders off of there as well. Just because they're worth a couple hundred bucks. And I want to make as much as possible off this tractor. So I at least break even, if not make a little bit. Um, I would pull the PTO shaft out, but I really just don't want to drain the fluid out of this thing. Um, because one of my totes is about full. 
I really don't want to start on another tote yet. So just going to leave all the fluid in that thing. Leave it closed up. Um, and yeah, these tires I took off are 16934s. They got good tread, but they are dry rotted. There is no fluid in them. Um, and that's why the rims are in great shape, double bevel rims. So if you guys need that set of tires, probably 500 bucks and you can have them. Um, 666 here is going to a new home. So got to get it loaded. That's why I needed to get my trailer cleaned off because I traded it for something else. Um, and then still ain't got my tail handler fixed yet because I've been at rental as you guys know. So that's on my list of things to do. I still got tons of parts to pull for people to come pick up. So I got to get that done as well. And I uh, still got to put some parts up that I did take to Rantoul. Um, the zipper front end, you guys might be seeing a video coming up in the near future on it. I plan on installing it on a tractor and uh, going that route to get rid of that thing because I really don't need two laying around. Um, all these weights and stuff, I'm going to leave them in there. And then, yeah, I just need to put this stuff back on the shelf and inside. And then list this motor and that WD-45 diesel head and then pull that radiator out, get it going through because I got a guy interested in it. Um, and then, yeah, finish listing all the parts off the 190 and get them all put away. And then I'll have my parking back. I do plan on throwing this hood in with that tractor chassis just because I got so many hoods laying around. I don't need more. It'll just get crushed and thrown in the dumpster. But since it's a nice hood, I'll just throw it along with the tractor. So it doesn't have to end up at the scrapyard. So I hated to part that thing out, but I gave you guys one last chance. Um, and for 2,800, that was too smoking of a deal. Um, and I only know why I said 2,800. I just really wanted it gone, but since no one, since everyone wanna waste my time on it, I figure I'll just sell pieces and parts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know it was about all over the place, just like the last one, um, but I wanna give you guys a recap or whatever on my Rantoul show and get that 190 knocked in the head so I ain't gotta look at it because that package deal really just, that package deal hurt me. Um, should I guess, should have offered a lot lower than I did, but I learned my lesson to not buy gas tractors. I'll stick to my diesel stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And uh, sorry, I didn't have any hats out in Rantoul. The lady that makes my hats didn't get the supplies in time. So she should be making about 50 hats um, and they should be here before too long. Um, so uh, I guess I'll let you guys know once I do get them and then they'll be up on my eBay store and you can buy some hats since I've been sold out for a couple months now. So I guess I'm getting the video off and I will hopefully see you guys in a day or two. So thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.